Hey everybody, how are you? It's Christy with Rem's Fab Stash. I'm not gonna tell you where we're located because that might possibly be a trivia question today. We'll see. So we have a lot of fun planned for today. Um, and if I start overheating, I just apologize. Let me know, first of all, if you guys can hear me okay. Um, I did find my AirPods. They were in the bottom of my purse and they have been there for like two weeks. <laughs> so this morning I was like, okay, I gotta find the AirPods. So I pulled everything out of my purse and found the AirPods and then I put everything else back in the purse because I did not feel like dealing with it this morning. So um, anyway, okay, so we have a very special guest here today, my mama Sita, my mama Sita Bella. And we are going to be auctioning off the bag of goodies that we showed you guys last week. And we of course have giveaways. And the game that we are going to be playing is Reb's Fab Stash Trivia. Now, if you try to go on the website and look at our About Us page, you will find that it is hidden and that it's no longer there. So hopefully you guys have been paying attention and you've read the story and that'll be fun. So she's got the trivia question somewhere. Would you like to come and join me? Here she is, the woman who started it all, <laughs> Reb, my mama, and she came appropriately dressed, so that was good. And she did her hair and makeup as well. I did it today too. I never do. Right, that's okay. That's all right. Gotta be au naturel. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. So what have you been working on this week? Oh, let me show you some fun things I did. Okay. This is actually what I started and I worked on today. I bought the Brothers Scan and Cut and I cut out all 16 of these cute little boots in three minutes. I cut out 16 of these with the Brothers Scan and Cut. Becky um, Thompson with Power Tools with Thread got me started on using the Scan and Cut for applique. And oh my gosh, today was my first day of actually playing with it and I had so much fun. Christy came home for lunch and I was like, ah! <laughs> she was so excited. So last week I showed you guys this foot kit and I thought that these boots were a piece, but they are not. They are applique. And so mom got going with her brother Scan and Cut, which she recommends buying from allbrands.com. Um, there is not a referral link for that. Um, and she's got lots of videos on how to use it, but mom has watched the videos. Becky. Becky. Yeah, yes. Becky Thompson with powertoolswiththread.com. So she got all 16 boots done in how fast? Three minutes. Three minutes. To cut all 16 of those. Oh my and, gosh. You know, I had all the backing, Ladies. the heat and bond light on the back and cut it out and I fed it through. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing to cut these things out three at a time yeah. really fast. Yeah. It was so great. for those of you that are huge Lori Holt fans, you might want to look at Becky's uh, YouTube channel when she talks about the brother scan and cut, she did do a sew along with the chicken salad and she ran all of her chickens and all of the pizzas through the scan and cut. Saves a lot of time. So applique takes a lot of time. Yes. Do you have a brother sewing machine too? Deidre is asking. Uh, Deidre, I have a, the one of the um, versions I bought at Costco. So it's not a real high end. And we use that as a spare when I travel somewhere or it's I just- It's actually in the camper. Is it in the camper? Yes. She stole it. Yeah, I stole so it. So it's in the camper. But I have a Janome and I I had Bernina's and I went with Janome because they were lighter and I could carry them. The Bernina's were so heavy. They were really hard for me. So I added um, a Janome embroidery machine and a sewing machine. And I didn't go really high, super high end. So, Mm -hmm. It was great. Hello, Miss Reb. Tammy too is here, your next employee. Ooh, oh, Tammy good. too. When are you yeah. going to come and visit? Lynn is here wearing her new Reb Spab Sash shirt and she loves it. Oh, good, Lynn. Thank you so much. Fun, fun. I know they're nice little shirts, aren't they? Oh, Bee's here. Hi, Bee. How are you? Pop in and say hello. Let us know you're here. We're going to turn the air conditioning on because I'm already overheating. Um, I knew that was gonna happen. I, I get, you know, <laughs> I get up here and I just start sweating. That's what I do. Okay, so you were working on the boots. I was working on the boots mm -hmm. and I got everything else cut out. Mm -hmm. So by next week, 
the front will be finished. And then it has to wait for someone here to quilt on that lovely long arm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so I wanted, yes, I wanted to show you guys. Um, Designs by Juju has released a patriotic table runner. And I know a lot of you locals have been waiting for us to get a kit. I wanted to make sure we put one together first and that it looked okay. So Lana got to play with her sewing machine, her embroidery machine this week uh, while she was working here. And last week and the week before, and look at this. Oh my gosh. Isn't this adorable? This is so cute. It's really, really cute. And she did this on the Janome 550E, which is the same one I have. And it's really nice because you get such really great satin stitching and you can do this with any applique. So when you have a brother scan and cut, um, and, and we don't get any kind of kickback for that. So I just am talking about it because I'm excited because I used it for the first time today. So anyway, it's After really great the blade in. because you could cut out all these pieces. <laughs> So I'm not technologically <laughs> inspired. She kept running through the fabric and she could. I can't figure out why this isn't cutting. She didn't uh, have the cutting blade. Um, shift to your left. Oh, okay. Mom was off camera. Oh, sorry. See? You can see okay. where you are. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so that was funny. I had to tease her. But anyway, so we have the kits. They are live now on the website. And you look down below. There's a little link to it. $39.95 for the link. Does that come with backing too? Wow, we're giving this away. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Look at these. Aren't they cute? The Designs by, Juju. by Juju design, though, is available on her website. Right. The we, Designs by Juju. Yep. So they, that is separate. Here's what we picked for backing for this one. And we have some other backings as well. And look, we couldn't figure out what to do with binding. And then we found this. A stripe. Yay. I love stripes for cute, binding. Cute. Isn't that cute? Cute. So Lana's super excited. So she is going to be working on the placemats. And that will probably be next week because, as you know, these take a little bit of time. But aren't they cute? She did such a good job picking out these fabrics. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so mom has a little show and tell. Which so one speaking of embroidery. Hang on, this microphone's over here. I'm not sure which you way to come to be pointing. This okay, way. Okay, this way? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you hold this up, Chrissy. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. We lost. All right, let's back up. Okay. So that they can see it. This is a Kimberbell product called Vintage Boardwalk. And it was all done on the embroidery machine. And what's wonderful about it is now they have all the background quilting, which is separate. And they have um, the chenille method here. We've got vinyl on it. We've got little foo foo -y things and little buttons that are really cute. Christy has got eight kits of this, which will be ready in a few days. Only eight left, and then they are all gone. So I'm not sure which one you guys want. Both, both. Okay. Both of us go this way. Okay. 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 Go over the top. <laughs> <laughs> we also um, have embellishment kits and the patterns. You can also do this in a sewing version. This is called Vintage Boardwalk by Kimberbell. Okay, hold still. Don't keep moving. I am. I'm looking at that. Okay. I'm good. not sure. Is that what that is? Yes. Okay. But you, let's see. We need to go a little bit towards you. I think. No, towards no. you. That way. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's but, cute. Fun project. So she had fun with that. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? Um, a lot of you have seen the Lori Hulk bake sale. But because I have a smaller home. Okay, back up. You go that way. Okay. Um, I did a bake sale in a smaller version. So I took out a lot of the the sashing, the sashing borders. And so I made a bake sale that was um, this way. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> so I made that. Uh, using all the main blocks in the bake sale. And I've done this in two versions, in Lori's fabric, and I also did it in Snow Sweet, which is Janet Wecker. Janet Wecker. So, yep. fun, fun. so she just did the applique blocks on this to make it a smaller quilt because, yeah, you start doing a bunch of Lori kits and you run out of room and where are you gonna hang them? And this hangs perfect over my kitchen table because I have a small four, uh, 
probably 40 inch kitchen table and this works perfect over the kitchen table so a fun product which you can do with a fat quarter bundle yeah you can do this with a fat quarter bundle linda you need to get yours done you'll love it <laughs> i actually did the original bake sale and because i thought i'm never going to hang it i decided to sell it on etsy and i sold it for 850 dollars i wanted to kill her i told her no 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 sandy peterson said darling great work thank so, you so that was a fun one then christy has these listed i took this panel i took this panel you hold that one okay cheryl can you post a link to this panel maybe if you can find it it was a uh, doggy's uh Doggy's Delight? No. no. Pause? Something pause? By Studio E? I don't know. We'll find it. Cheryl will find it. She's a whiz at that stuff. Anyway, she made some little placemats. I, for the dog. Not right. for me, but for the dog. You know, I mean, for heaven's sakes. We gotta, we gotta get those water dishes when they drink and they slobber all over. Yeah, and I have a slobbery dog. So I took the panel and I put all of them into these um, just cute little... I haven't done these, sorry ladies, but they're not finished. Well, this one's upside down. Okay, well that doesn't help then. Well, they're both upside down. <laughs> See, that's okay, I do it all the time, as you know. She didn't get these finished, apparently. But they're really cute. One big panel made four of these using this is all fabric Christy has in the shop, and the border, all of this is available. Oh, and by the way, the gingham on here is that gingham that I showed you last week that a bunch of you got. It is, that I bought it's a for great you border for a baking sale. Yes. Which I bought some more gingham today that'll be, or this week, that'll be here in about eight months with more cute ginghams. But aren't those cute? These would be great little Christmas presents. Cute. Super quick, easy, really? fun. Yes. She quilted around the words on this one. And if she you know anybody pop. that works like at a uh, animal shelter, they took smaller versions of blocks like these. We made them into little mug rugs. And they sold them for $25 at the animal shelter and got money for them. Oh, so, for the auction or something. A good donation good. item. Good. Deidre says she wants that panel. Okay, Deidre, we're going to post a link. Oh, oh there it is. Post. See? Cheryl is so amazing. She is amazing. Cheryl's my good buddy. <gasps> yes. She used to live across the street from me. And then she came to work. In the good old days. Yes. Okay. Okay. What else so, do you want? So then um, we made too many stash boxes you did for may okay so for those of you that have not subscribed naughty naughty no i'm kidding um we have 20 may stash boxes available by themselves we did increase the price to 59.95 because if you aren't subscribing then you'll have to pay a little bit higher price but there are three awesome projects in the stash box. Should we look and see sure. what's in them? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? No, I didn't. didn't you see it. watch my video? My reveal video? <gasps> Mother. <laughs> Sorry. That one's not open? That's not the shop copy. What is you that? You have the finished projects over there. Okay. Oh, this you is the finished project? The shop copy. You said you should grab one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's one of the projects that we had in the May stash box. So if you want to get the May stash box, Huh? Okay. Yeah. Isn't that cute? So this is um, actually a pattern by Villa Rosa Designs for the whole quilt. And we give you the pattern for the whole quilt, but we decided to just make a cute little bed runner with it. So this uh, fabric is by Heather Anderson with Riley Blake. So that's fun. Okay. And then we have the fabric for our block which isn't really a block of the month. It's just kind of a fun block. Kind of my goal with the stash box is to have you try new things and learn new techniques and maybe make things that you wouldn't normally make. So here's the block. And then we oh, have, cute. isn't this cute? Cute, cute. We have this really cute bag and the pattern and everything that you need is in there. We didn't include interfacing, but other than that, that or the thread, yes. Oh my gosh, it's reversible? Yes. And it's got Mary Engelbright on it. Karen says, love your stash boxes. Thanks, Karen. Look Isn't at this cute? cute Mary Engelbright. This is called a windmill bag. And it goes together super easy. 
You sew the bottoms together. Yeah. Deidre, you're gonna need to watch the video on that. There's a video uh, linked on the idea stash page if you haven't done yours yet. But there's a video how to do it. And isn't that cute? Yes, it is. Yep, yep. We had like a million of these panels, so we decided to use it. And then you can reverse it. And then it has these cute little Mary Inglebright pockets. Isn't that cute? See? Mary darling. You don't have to attend every argument that you're invited to. Oh, really? Cheryl says we only have one dog panel in stock. Oh, well, somebody better go get that dog panel. Lana, can you double check inventory? Just make sure <laughs> we're accurate on that. Thank you. Cute. Not fun. So those are the projects. And then you get a little card that shows you all of the projects that you're doing. Okay. And we also include the SKUs for the fabric in case you want to get additional fabric for the backing or whatever. You love the, pro the fabric. We include all of that for you. And we have a recipe card. And this month, it was my recipe. Was? Oh, it? no, it wasn't. It's Mary Beth. This is Mary Beth. This is. Oh, it's my recipe for. Oh. <laughs> my recipe is for a future one. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, so the recipe was Mary Beth's, um, what's it called? Year round family favorite carrot chowder. And favorite is not spelled incorrectly, she is English. So just in case you were wondering about that. Then we have a pin wand, so this is magnetic. So if you drop your pins and needles on the floor, you can use this wand to find them so that you don't step on them. Oh, I never do that. Really? No, but I lose them all the time. Oh, you're not mm -hmm. sewing enough then. I'm not. And then we have this cute little magnetic pin <gasps> cup with our logo engraved on it. Now, there was a YouTuber who hers was not engraved. The and only one. The only one? We it checked, wasn't engraved. We checked all of our ones. So if you got one that wasn't engraved, please email us. I want to know. Because I paid to get it engraved. So the one YouTuber got one that wasn't. And then we have a fat quarter. No two are alike. So we always throw in a little fat quarter. Mm -hmm. And then it all comes. Everything is individually wrapped in separate little Ziploc bags. So that number one, if it rains, it does not get damaged. But number two, you can keep your projects together. Um so that you don't get that lost. And then here's the, she wants one. It makes it easy to stick on the shelf so if you forget about it, you have a UFO, just in case you don't have any. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And we've also had a lot of people posting in our RibsFab Stashers group, so thank you for all of you that have done that. B, I love what you did with yours. I saw your post. And Deidre, I saw your post about the bird and I didn't know how you got it backwards. It looked fine to me, so nobody knew. I don't know, it looked fine. It's unique. Yeah, it's unique, it's different. That's good, that's okay. It doesn't have to be the same as everybody. Okay, so I don't even know what we're talking about. Ooh, trivia. So we are playing Reb's Fab Stash Trivia today. Okay, you're gonna go sit down. Okay. There's four dog panels available, according to Lana. Okay, there's four dog panels. Can we look at committed? Hi, everybody. Committed and make sure. Um, there's not already any committed. Okay, so today for giveaway, we are going to play Rebs Fab Stash Trivia in honor of having Mama Sita here. So, I love this one. Oh, that's even harder. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, oh my gosh. Who is the customer service manager for Rebs Fab Stash? Ready for giveaways? Come on, start your guesses. Uh, no giving away any hints if you work for us. Specify though, because you said customer service manager. manager. Yeah. Nope. Customer service rep. Who's the person that responds to most of our emails and our phone calls? Yes, Tammy number two knows. <laughs> Oh, she's not supposed to give it away. Okay. Um, oh, 
Now I know why I have to wait on this one. I need to make sure that's correct before we start. Okay, what are we giving away today? That's pretty big inventory. Cool. Huh? What am I doing? What am I showing? This? Well, there's some new stuff, some new stuff, new stuff all, any of that stuff. Okay. New stuff. Ooh. That's your... Just the kit? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the Designs by Juju table runner kit. Let's look at these fabrics really close. So we have a shabby. We have the backing with the stars. Oh, and by the way, with these kits, we included enough fabric that you can self-bind if you want to, but we weren't super crazy about using this on the binding because how are we gonna get all of our stars straight? So we have enough fabric to do a self binding if you want to, but we also included this fabric for the binding if you wanted to bind separately. And then this is a patriotic words, um, land of the free, home of the brave. It's the song, whichever one it is, the national anthem. And we have the stars or whatever. Mom's laughing at me. <laughs> Picnic table fabric. This is our, that swirl, that just color swirl. We have white stars on white. We have a little bit of gold. And then we have a red tonal. That's not quite a solid, but it sort of reads like a solid. And then we have the B cross stitch. Um, that looks like honey. And then a little piece of black and some more stars hang on these are small pieces here we go cute little stars and then this is a wavy print from actually riptide but that one looked really good on that block and then stars so we have like 20 of these kits available so if you would like to grab one go ahead they are super cute and then you'll have to download the embroidery pattern from designs by juju and she has a website. Can everybody still hear me okay? My nose is running. Okay, what else do we have that's new? This, are these our little promo bundles? <laughs> cool. So this is a fat quarter bundle of Indigo Garden. This is the fabric that we used in the bed runner. Um, so let's flip through this really quick. This is really pretty. There are 13 fat quarters in the collection and they are $47.95. We are getting lots of hearts. Somebody is loving something. I'm not sure what. This is a really cute print that we included in the bundle. I heart my stash, stitch on, cute, cute, cute. Here I go, saying cute again. Floral on green, another fun little green print. This is all from Indigo Garden, the yellow. Cute, cute, so you could get this fat quarter bundle. Actually, this fat quarter bundle would allow you to do the whole quilt if you wanted to do your bed in a whole quilt and not just the bed runner. Because I think that pattern only requires about 12 fat quarters and then you'll need your background fabric. Isn't that cute? I heart my stash, stitch on. So cute, we loved that. More flowers, lots of fun different colors too. Look at that pink, that is a vibrant gorgeous pink. I am loving it. It is pretty. Deb says it's pretty. It is pretty. Oh, <laughs> mom wants to hold it. Hold it. She's going to babysit it. She's going to babysit it and keep it safe. Okay, so then I wanted to just repeat really quick. If you um, did not get our May stash box, but you would like to grab just the one May stash box, we have those listed on the website for $59.95 plus $6.99 shipping. And we'll put a link here down below in just a second. Melinda says, what brand embroidery machine does Rev use? A Janome 550E. A Janome 550E. Retails about $4,000. Retails about $4,000. And I got one too. And we got ours from Becky's Sewing Center down in Lewiston, we Idaho. We have one in Coeur d'Alene. And they also have one in Coeur d'Alene. So for those of you that are local, you can go to Becky's and say, I want the one that Rev got. And he'll oh. probably give you a discount. Maybe. He will. He will. 
He said he would give you a discount if you let him know that we sent you. So, any machine that you want from Becky's in Lewiston. Linda's here. Linda. You could say bonsoir. Oh, bonsoir, Linda. Comment allez-vous? I was like, which Linda? Linda Dennison, Linda Thibodeau. Thibodeau, bonsoir. Comment allez-vous? Okay, this is called, oh, one more. Carol says, do we need to check out or can we wait and combine? You can wait and combine, but if you have that dog panel in your cart, you might wanna go and check out really quick and snag it before somebody else does. And then we will combine and refund your shipping um, and all of that. So depends on how many we have. Huh? Tell them to add notes for us. Add notes for us. And Cheryl is really good about catching those too. Whoops. <laughs> okay, this is a new collection we received in this week. It's called Good Vibes. <clears throat> Somebody was asking, thank you, Lana, for commenting on that. Okay, uh, Good Vibes from Three Wishes. Who is the designer on this one? Um, Courtney know. Morgan. Okay. okay, so we added some tonals in this collection. This is a fun, bright kit, and we have our fabric collection. Here we go, let me try again. This is a really fun, bright fabric collection, and we do have a kit that I'm going to show you pretty soon as well. So this is called Good Vibes. This is that just color with those swirls. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I gotta open this up. This is cute. I don't even remember buying this. We order like eight months in advance and then it shows up and we're like, oh, cool, who ordered that? Wow, that's fun, bright colors. Kim asks, what is the quilt behind you besides the Farm Sweet Farm quilt? Well, what a nice question. Thank you. So Kim, that is the Be Happy quilt by Lori Holt. And mom, that was your first one, right? Did three of them. Was it your first one? This was her first. Uh, Lori Holt quilt, and she made three of them, all at the same time. One for me, one for herself, and one for my sister. She swore she would never do that again. So she customized it um, for me because number one, green is my favorite color. Um, and number two, she has a little green kitty in the back of the truck. And she made this way before I had chickens. But there is a chicken in the back of the truck which is totally awesome because now we just need to add about 67 more in the back of the truck. I don't think I'll take them anywhere though. They, I don't think they would be very good vehicle pets. Anyway, so that's the Be Happy quilt. Um, and we just added, mom made a lot of um, customizations and modifications. So this isn't exactly like the Lori Holt one. So make it your own, like she says, but we did just add 10 Be Happy quilts into stock today. There are three pieces that we are still missing that are still on back order. So we will send those as soon as they come in. But otherwise, they are pretty much very close to complete and you can get started on that because it takes a while. Can I come in today? Yes, you can. One of the things about Lori Holt's quilt, her, all of her blocks, hear you. Come to oh, all of her blocks, is if there's a block that doesn't necessarily appeal to you, then what you can do is substitute. Like I put a house in the middle of that instead of, I think there was just a big flower shape because I'm a homebody. And so I, I went into her book, what's it called? Be Happy. No. Oh, the Quilty Fun? Quilty Fun. So in several of Lori's books, she has blocks that are all six and a half and 12 and a half inches. So you can substitute any of those that you like. And so I substituted that block out of her book instead of what she had. So. I don't get too hung up on making it exactly like Lori does. I never do it exactly. Mm -mm. I always make it my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Wendy says, Rev knew you would be a chicken lady. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see it in her future. My little jelly bean. That was my nickname growing up, little jelly bean. Little jelly bean, you might remember that for a future. That would be a quiz on me though. That would be kind of, okay. I don't know. I don't think we'll be doing that. Okay, anyway, back to good vibes. Woo, distracted. We do that a lot around here. Okay, so good vibes, fun, bright colors. Here, Mom, you wanna look at this one too? 
Just keep it all together. I will. I can okay. already roll up the other Oh, one. good. Oh, Tammy's going to be really happy. Tammy's going to be like, you want to come back and help again? Mm -hmm. Tammy number one. Focus on the good. Good vibes. Radiate. Sending rainbows. Love. Cute. And then we love. <gasps> Deidre really wants to know more about the placemats. Okay, Deidre. Don't let me get distracted. We'll come back to that. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at these butterflies. And I love the background color. It's a really pretty blue. Isn't that gorgeous? I might have to make some bowl cozies out of these. Might have to make some bowl cozies out of this. You know, she goes home with more fabric when she comes to these. <laughs> and then I end up auctioning it off a couple weeks later. No, just kidding. Cute little triangles, pink triangles on aqua. I think that um, Tammy wants me to draw, so I'll do that in just a second. Nice pink solid. Oh my gosh, look at these rainbows. This is great, Mom. I'm loving throwing this stuff at you. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cute. Cute, cute. We're fun. The price to be paid. So There's... what you're saying is we need somebody just sitting over there all the time so you can just hand it off. Yep, just throw it at them. These, can you guys see these okay? These are like little circle-y dots. Let me come a little closer to the camera and see. That's a white on white. Hard to show it on the camera. And then we have, oh, look at this floral. Wow, that is fun, bright, very different. Tammy number two says, I bet mom does a better fold job. <laughs> than what, me throwing it off to the side? <laughs> Tammy number two, you are so spicy some days. <laughs> Cute little rainbow print. So she'll fit right in with me. Yeah, she'll fit right in. This would be great for a binding too. How pretty would that be? Don't you think? This one's gone. Somebody bought it. Somebody bought it? Oh. <laughs> I think this one's going home with Reb. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Buy a stripe with some very different things. And then we have a yellow and an orange solid. This is the uh, just color yellow. This back quarter bundle has 14 pieces in it. And it is $50.95. And then we have this really cute, oh shoot, hold on. Okay, Deidre, so while I am drawing a name, um, the placemat panels, if you go on uh, designsbyjuju.com, no, and I think she needs the dog ones. The dog ones she really likes. Oh, she the dog, the dog ones. ones. Yeah. Okay. She wants to know like dimensions that Reb used. So okay. Yeah. She wants to know more. All right. Have Deidre send uh, an we'll email. We'll talk, to we'll you talk about it. And I'll, yeah. I'll reply to her. Do you want to, Lana, could you bring me one of those panels really quick whenever you get a chance? That would be great. Okay. So the first prize winner is? What's the answer to the trivia? The answer to the trivia question is Cheryl with an S. Cheryl with an S is our fabulous customer service manager slash customer service rep, one person department. <laughs> She's the <laughs> boss of herself. It's a great way to go, right? Um, anyway, so she answers the phone, she responds to the emails, she responds to the Facebook messages most of the time, and so we keep her pretty busy. So that's the answer to trivia question number one. And the winner is Sharon White. Now Sharon, you need to be present to win, so let us know if you're here. And Wendy says, who is the mysterious man behind the camera? <laughs> I don't know. What do you know? How do you know? Is it Dylan? Maybe. So um, I have some fabulous new marketing gals that started with us this last week or two. They just graduated <laughs> from the University of Idaho and they are superstars. And then Dylan, I was his senior project for his business class, his entrepreneur business class. And he had a couple of other team members and he was gonna hang around the college town for the summer and kind of figure out what he wanted to do with his life. And he has also been an awesome addition to the team because he is helping me figure out lots of technological things that I don't want to figure out or have time to do because of the potatoes. Sharon's here. Sharon's here. Okay, Sharon, would you like, um, we just, Sharon, would you like a swag bag or a notion bag or a zippy panel bag? 
But Dylan is also the one making the most noise behind the camera. <laughs> yes, thank you. And then a puzzle. So those are your choices, Sharon. A notion bag, a swag bag, um, a zippy bag, and a puzzle. Okay, so here's this. Here's her name. Let me know what she wants and if I need to repeat it. Okay. So come on, bring some of these over here so we can kind of show them how you pep them. <clears throat> she wants the notions bag. Okay. So she's going to get little button jars and be organized tags and a bag of Lori Holt buttons and a little package of the button jars, the Lori Holt button jars from Be Organized. Okay, so here's the panel. It's by, I can't see, hold on. Whoopsies, Timeless Treasures. Okay, so what mom did is she just cut the panel right here, slapped the border on it, and that was it. And then she cut it here, and then she cut here, and then she cut here. And then when she quilted it, she just quilted around right. the words. I just added some one and a half inch strips from Kona, which I think you have in the shop. I don't know. Okay. I think so. So Maybe. some one and a half inch strips, and I just wanted some color on these because Christy likes green, so this one's hers for the dog. Oh, now her I get to find out why grizzly, which one's mine. For Grizzly. She didn't tell me which one I got. This one's probably for Katie. Got to do one for Katie. Well, Katie has three dogs. I know. That's why and there's three more. I know, oh, but... Oh, she's getting three? Sorry, she has three dogs. But Grizzly needs two because he's so slobbery. What about Kitty? And Kitty is not slobbery. Well, we have a kitty panel. I have, <laughs> I, it's just been in my... Okay. Stash stuff. Stash. Uh, yeah. Stash. But I just took most of these and just... If they, if they could be cut down a little bit on the side, I did. Because I wanted to be able to use one strip to get around all the whole thing. So I did that. Dylan's turning red. Who's oh, saying something? So, so no, when you said just this you. little laugh after it was, I thought it was oh. funny. Stash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stash. <laughs> so that's the science of that. And the border on the other one, so some of them she did about a two inch, two and a half inch border. I just very good. Mm -hmm. And then one of them she did a one inch border, had some little dog fabrics. We probably have some really cute dog promo bundles in case you haven't. In fact, we might even have a promo bundle for this collection. Oh, next trivia question she is telling me. Okay. Okay. Keep it moving. Heidi says, I need a kitty panel. I did too. I did too. Okay, what's our next it. trivia question? Oh, you can choose. Okay, next <laughs> trivia question. Let's see. Um, what was the reason Reb started Reb's Fab Stash? Don't answer the question. Oh, I almost did. <laughs> no, I'm doing. It's a giveaway question. Why did she start Reb's Fab Stash? Okay. Now let's come back to the good vibes quilt. Tammy okay. number two is still being spicy. <laughs> Tammy number two is still being spicy. Oh, Tammy number two. What are we going to do? You you know, if you come work here, you can't be spicy. You can't be like drama. I don't do drama. Spicy is different than drama. Oh, spicy is different fun. than drama. Do you know what Tammy's shirt says today, Tammy number one? <laughs> Sarcasm level expert. <laughs> She's an expert sarcasm level person and it's I speak fluent sarcasm she speaks fluent sarcasm <laughs> yes and she wears it proudly <laughs> okay so here is the good vibes quilt and let's take a look at how they do this um what fabric oh we've got templates to cut out so this is applique which you could run through your brother's scan and cut. Oh, Tammy's still being spicy. <laughs> and I want to see what the background is on this. Okay, here's that background. Those little circly dot thingies. And then the rest of the fabric is just used in those rainbows. So we have 
the butterfly. And we have the stripey stripey, rainbow stripey. That's fun. I love that fabric. That's really cool. Little triangles. And you just cut these out, maybe with your brother's scan and cut, and you make, oh my gosh, there's lots of laughs, and I know you're not laughing at me. Somebody must be laughing. I went, Wendy's now being Oh, Wendy's being spicy too. Oh, you girls. What am I gonna do? I wanna have week? a party with Tammy number two and Wendy. Okay, Wendy Tammy one number us. one wants to have a party. So <laughs> you guys plan a trip, come and see us. In the summer, not in the winter when it's snowing. Come in the summer. Oh my gosh, these are pretty. These are gorgeous. I love these. And we will have a party with Tammy number one and Tammy number two. Is Nancy number one here? Yes. Oh, hi, Nancy number one. Okay, what else? These must be, oh, Maywood sale. So we have Maywood on sale for 15% off. May stash. We have some really good deals here. Fire and ice. I've shown you guys this before. This is a jelly roll. I think we probably still have some layer cakes and some yardage left in this. Lana's probably in there nodding her head in the office. Uh -huh. This one is Meadow Edge. Am I going too fast? Probably. She's going, yeah, you're going too fast. Slow <laughs> down, Christy. This one's cute. And then we have some Kimberbell. This is the winter jelly roll. And a lot of times these little basics are really nice to have if you're doing a Kimberbell project because you can use these on some of the embroidery pieces, some little small pieces, you can just cut a little piece off. You don't have to cut up a whole fat quarter. Right, Mom? And it's on sale. And it's on sale. 15% off. Good deal. Well, we only have like five days left in May. Yep, five. Bloom on. This collection has been going really fast. We've sold through most of our kits. This is the fat quarter bundle. And some of the yardage is gone already. And some of the yardage is gone already, too. So this also has, looks like it has a panel in here too. So this is 22 fat quarters plus a panel. Really, really pretty florals. We'll just wait for the picture to come up here. Heidi says, how much fabric does Reb have now? Less. Only two bedrooms full. Only two bedrooms full. So yes, it used to be more. Yep. When uh, she had the... Um, let's see, can I answer this question? When she had it in her house, she had 18 Home Depot shelves full of fabric, and she had to sell her couch in order to get it to fit. So you would walk in her house and it was like, oh, fabric. And then, well, and then the rest of the story, we will tell you later. Okay, so what else do we have that's on sale? Ooh, we have red, white, and bloom. We still have, this is a half yard bundle. This is a Kimberbell collection. And this is still available. So you can do any of those projects, any of the patriotic projects. Jean says, good insulation. Fabric in the house. Oh, for the fabric in the house, yes. Yes, I'm like, I don't get it. It's also <laughs> a huge fire hazard because there's a fire. It, it burns really fast. So spray it down, I guess. I don't know. Make sure you've got a fire extinguisher near the fabric room. Um, okay, so this is the red, white, and bloom. Here we've got a words print. Patriotic. I love these prints, these little picnic table prints with the little lemonade jars. Super cute. More words. The aqua, this is the, not the aqua dot, this is the yellow dot. I don't know why they call it dot, but there's dots on there, but it's not really a dot. She has the Fireworks. In both the sewing and the embroidery version. Yes, she has it both in the sewing and the embroidery version. Here's the main print on white. Teresa. Way to go, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa says, that's not bad. I have three rooms. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, girl. Well, you need some more here. Get something from Ribs. Ribs Fab Stash. Cute. I love these prints. They're so fun. And there's a lot of other fun projects that we've already started using these in. Um, and, well, the table runner has some of this. It's really cute. And the Liberty quilts. And the Liberty quilts, yes. We're using it in some of the Liberty. Then there's this little, the panel comes in the half yard bundle. You can make some little pendants. 
hunting, and I cut those and made mug rugs out of the squares. I oh. took six and a half inch squares and made mug rugs out of them. She's made mug rugs out of these. She cut the six and a half inch squares and made cute little mug rugs. You can also make a little um, flag thing to decorate your home when you have a 4th of July party. Isn't that cute? And I think the only panels we have left are the ones in the bundle. But it also has instructions on how to make it down we at the bottom. Have Few, I thought, we have a few large. of these left, she says. Okay. Very few. Okay, what else do we have? Has anybody bought one of those May stash boxes? Give me some hearts if you have. Not the subscription one, but the actual one that we have. I'm just curious if anybody's interested in those. Um. Okay, this is Small Town America. This is a quilt kit that uses the red, white, and bloom fabric and a couple of Kimberbell basics. This is really fun. This pattern is by Charisma Horton and it finishes 48 by 48. So this one is really cute. We actually had to reorder these because they went so fast last year when this collection came out, but it has the red dot on white and the cute little, um, let's see, this is kind of hard to hold this correctly here. Cute little picnic print and the uh, fireworks and the words. And what else do we have in here? I don't want to tear it apart too much because then Tammy number one gets mad at me. Then we have the Blue Hound's Tooth by Kimber Bell and the Red Hound's Tooth by Kimber Bell. Ooh, and we've got, ooh, we've got more fabric in here. Hold on, hold please. Then we have the blue dot on blue, and we have the white dot on red. This is probably one of my favorite prints that Kimber Bell does. I just love these dots. They're so cute. The swirls are really cute too. And then she has this bias plaid, and the main print from Red, White, and Bloom, and the words fireworks and yellow polka dot and these cute little navy flowers. Isn't that cute? And then <clears throat> you also have some more basics. Let's see what we have here. We have the lattice and we have the orange on white and then a little bit of this print. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, then those are 15% off as well. So oh, those are a really good deal. Um, the Fire and Ice Quilt. Ooh, you guys, I don't think I've ever shown this to you before. This one's pretty. It's newer. This is, but, yep, this uses the Fire and Ice fabric, which I think I showed you some of it, the Jelly Roll already. But here you go. 72 by 72. And it's all these cool tonals. These prints are really cool. My mom's over here nodding. I have them already. So you I'm have them already? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna smoke. Okay. So purpley and pink and peach. And then we have blue and aqua teal. This is Lana's favorite color. She loves this collection. Oh, mom's too. Blues and then pinks. Okay, so should we do another drawing? Okay, so what was the question? What was the reason Rip started a fruit stuff stash? So Rip can answer. Ooh. I was, oh, come here, Megan, in 2016. Uh-huh. So, nope. I started before I retired. She started it before you retired, but why? Oh, so I have some, just a couple hundred bucks extra a month. So she would have a little extra money, a little extra couple hundred bucks a month. But it became a job. But so then I'm, it became a job. I handed it off to you because I don't want any more. Yep, <laughs> and then she handed it off to me. And here we are. Some years later. Linda says too many pretty things. I know. For sure. Okay. Oh, Linda. Felicitations. <laughs> Are you here? Linda Thibodeau. Um, you win. So. As long as she's still here. Yes. As long as Linda's still here. So Linda, bonsoir. Let us know you're here. Thibodeau from Canada. Oh, lots of hearts. And Linda, if you are here, would you like a Red Stamp Stash swag bag or a zippy panel project or a puzzle? Yes, she 
is here. Awesome. Wee wee. Okay, Linda. Let us know what you would like. Would you like a red stock stash swipe bag or the zippy panel or a puzzle? Then have to do with both. Okay. So Linda said or Wendy says, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And Tammy number two. Tammy number two. She still wants to win. She still wants to win. <laughs> well, you better get your name in there more often. All right, let's go on I to the next question. I know. She's like, I'm already winning it a lot. Okay. <clears throat> um, what was the year Reb Stab Sash was founded? Let's oh. see. She wants the swag bag. Ooh. Linda wants the swag bag. Okay, so Linda, we have for you a Reb Stab Sash t shirt. Please send Cheryl a message and let her know what size you would like and color. And color. And you are also going to get one of these cute little magnetic pin cups with your favorite online store, embroidered, like embroidered. We've been talking about embroidery. But clearly embroidery is on the brain. Engraved. And oh, a tape measure. Rev stab stash tape measure. Do you have one of these? Oh. Do you want one? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy number one wants one too. Okay, so here's that. Okay. Well, Linda, let us know what size t-shirt you would like. We have medium large, extra large, and then higher than that. Uh-oh. No, I don't know one is making a bunch of noise. Okay, this is a Bonnie Sullivan. Oh! Okay, hang on. Let's just wait till the point on set. Okay, now they have to giggle. Now they're going to be giggling no, okay. for the whole rest of the thing. Okay. So, oh, cute. Look at this. Okay. Seasons of the Heart. This is by Bonnie Sullivan. And here's the kit. And guess what? They're already laser cut, pre-fused with the flannel. This is a flannel project. Bonnie has really cute, cute, cute designs and uh, applique designs. This um, is... 40 by 48, and the reason I'm showing you this is because it's Maywood. Well, we got some good guesses on here. Let's see if anybody can get it right. Professor. Okay, anyway. Oh, this is all part. Here's a second. Hold on. Oh, this is all part of it. So you get all the little pieces for each little block. So you could make four little wall hangings, and it's all like autumn, summer spring and winter and it's little bunnies can you guys see that okay isn't that cute and then you have the fabric for this is the binding and apparently this is hold it on hold me how do you figure this out i don't know this i don't know you get okay so you have the cream woolies and you have the dark woolies fabric. I think that they give you enough fabric to do either a light background or a dark background, but mom is going to read the pattern because it's really hard to do that while you're talking on a live video. I like that green. Yeah. Okay. So is it, do they give you an option to do either? The light or the dark background. Okay. She's gonna look at that. So that that's 15% off too. These are 16 by 20 frames. So 16 you can frame by 20. Four frame pictures. Yes. Or you can make one little throw for Very cute. So you have the option of doing the light or the dark mm -hmm. background. Okay. People are saying funny things. What year was Reb Spab Stash founded? Okay, this is a quilt kit called In My Mother's Kitchen. And pattern is by Jerry Stube, S-T-U-B-E. It finishes 72 by 72. And this is using the Chris Lammers fabric. Um, Happiness is homemade. This is a really cute collection. Mixers, 
on gray and pink. It's hard to pull these kits apart. And then we have, all right, let's see what else we have here. Cupcakes on pink. Huge baking, it's making me hungry. Cupcakes on aqua. Elizabeth says, so you could use it as one quilt or a four separate little wall hangings. Yes, Elizabeth, that is correct. You could do that. You could also, how big are those blocks? 16 by 20. 16 by 20, you could also make some good size pillows. Maybe, yep. yep. Little fluffy pillows. And then we have some little starbursts on the light green. Oh, you silly. Somebody's saying something funny. Then we have a cute check. I love this check. It's a little different. All right. And then, let me see. Where am I going to put this? Hey, Mom. Thank you. And then I love this little sprinkle print on white, multicolored on white. And then we have these starburst on white and multicolored starburst on black. <coughs> and then we have more baking supplies on kind of a color is that? Mauve or reddish pink? Reddish pink. Mm -hmm. Wendy says, if it were my mother's kitchen, there would be smoke and a fire alarm. Oh dear. <laughs> Well, you could always applique some smoke on and say, here, mom, here's your kitchen. <laughs> I guess she might not like that very much, though. So. Deidre says, how's Emily doing? Oh, Emily's doing pretty good. She is not liking holding still and staying in bed and uh, likes to be out and about and jarred her ankle the other day and hopefully didn't re-injure it but she's doing good she's got uh, about two and a half more weeks and that cast comes off Whew. then i'm gonna have to keep her going slow but she's doing good she's getting lots of her schoolwork done being very productive pretty good spirits for the most part she misses her horses but she gets to go down and look at them <laughs> she can't ride them she's very much missing riding the horses so, Deb says she loves that fabric line. I know. Yes, poor girl. I know. She's, she's a little bit, she's spicy too right now. So that's the other thing she's doing. She's being a little spicy to her mom. Okay, then, what time is it? Oh, 4.59. Stash Ooh, sale. Time to announce the stash sale. And we still need to do our auction. Mm -hmm. And we still need to do the auction. Can you, um, okay, let's do the auction really quick. How long are we huh? gonna give them? Are we gonna give them like 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna do the auction. Now, I showed you guys this last week. Okay, our auction today has this cute bag and the stuff I showed you last week. And if you weren't here last week, it's a quilt kit, 10 yards of backing, a sewing bag, cool pins, seam roller and a five and a half inch cute cut roller. The retail price for this is $315 and 32 cents. It's what we calculated. Yeah, somebody, can somebody set a timer for eight minutes? We're going to do the auction for eight minutes. And actually maybe five, let's just do five. Five minutes. Okay, and I know that Wendy has already bid and I don't know where we are on the bidding. But we're gonna set a timer for five minutes. And let me show you what's in the bag. So we have a five and a half inch cute cuts roller. We have Lori's seam roller. Iron less quilt more is what it says on the back. So you can use it to flatten your seams. 200. We're at 200. Bidding is at 200. Sylvia says 203. And we do have a little bit of a delay here. So just be aware of that. 205 from Linda Dennison. Oh, you want me to hand it to you? Okay. And then we have the quilt kit. Sultan's Garden, yes, and we showed this last week. So let's pull this out. 
here's the quilt. Now you're auctioning, you're buying this, right? This is an auction. So if you win, you're going to get an invoice from Cheryl for the amount that you bid. Okay, so we have these really pretty florals on pink. And then we have circles. And then we have this gorgeous floral. And then a stripe for the binding. Yay! <laughs> so retail is $315.95. So we're at $205.50 from Sylvia. Flowers of green. Don't get distracted. You're distracting me. It's in the pocket. It's in the bag. I haven't got there yet, Mom. She wants to know what else is in here. 212 from Amalia. Thank you. We have three minutes and 18 seconds left for bidding. Oh, 225. 225. Thank you. Here's that. And then also has 10 yards of backing. Oh, there's something else in the bottom of here too. It's 228. Oh, 228. Okay, retail value is 315. So here are the 10 yards. And this is from Rev's Stash. This is also Sultan's Garden by Mary McGuire for RJR. They are, they got bought by well, somebody else. Wait, it's not a time. Merle, did you really mean to put $4,200? Because <laughs> that would really make me happy. <laughs> Linda Dennison is at 233. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you to the $4,200 bid, but go ahead and put your bid in again. Who was that that did the 4230? Merle. Merle. <laughs> she says no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then cool pins. A gypsy quilter. Hey, I used one of these to today to get my sliver out. It worked really well. Yeah, at mom's house. Okay, so where are we? What are we at, Linda? 233. 233 what? 33. And then you also get this cute bag. Isn't it cute? So big or go home. 235 from Sylvia. Thank you. The four is supposed to be dollars. So she was at 230. I think we're at 230. What are we at? 235? Okay, and there is one minute, 30 seconds left. There's a lot of stuff in this bag. There's ruler, seam ruler, pins bag, the quilt kit, 10 yards of fabric, plus the background mm -hmm. fabric for the whole kit. So we're at 236. We've got a minute 13 left. While we are waiting for that, keep bidding. 238. 238 from Sylvia. This is our stash sale. Oh, 240. 240 from Linda Dennison. Merle, we're at 240. I saw your 239, we're at 240. We got 51 seconds left. We are auctioning the items in the bag. We're tied at 240, Amalia. And who else? Linda. Linda. We're at 240, we're tied at 240. Yeah. So we're at 240, oh, we've got 30 seconds left. 242 by Amalia. And we have 23 seconds left. I forgot what number we're Whoa, at. 255. 255 Ooh. by Sylvia. All right, we're at 255. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We're at 255. One. All right, type in done. 265. She um, bid herself to 265. Okay. <laughs> she wanted to make sure she got it. Yeah. Okay. 255. So Cheryl, can you send her an invoice for 255? Well, she outbid herself at 265. Okay. So that's fine. 255. Thank you. So please send her an invoice for 255. Okay. Here's our stash sale. This is Bohemian Blue. Claire, I don't understand your question. Quilt. It was a quilt kit that we auctioned off, but the auction is over. Five minutes. Okay, this is a piano. That is 
Bohemian Blue by Lisa Audit. We have a lot of these. It was priced at $11.95 and now it is $6.99. So this is a really good deal. So throw one of these. Remember I asked you about Lisa Audit the other day? Uh -huh. she, I love her stuff. It's beautiful. She loves Lisa's stuff, she says. Mm -hmm. Yep, Lisa has got some gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Okay, so we do have a little bit of the border print left that goes with it. So if you're not quite sure what to do with the panel, look at how cute this border print is bikes and kitties and flowers. Put the border around it. You could stack and whack it, make some little stars around it. They make a great table topper. Little fussy cuts. Yeah, this would make a great table topper. Holly, one of the gals here, has made table toppers out of border prints like this. Really pretty. Valerie says, can I still get Maybox? Why, Valerie, yes, as a matter of fact, we have 20, how many are left? We have 20 available. Um, we have them listed separately. We're gonna put a link down below. This is not a subscription purchase. It is just the one box for $59.95 plus $6.99 shipping. There's 18. We have 18 left? Okay, so there are 18 left of the May boxes. We also have, for the Bohemian Rhapsody, or Bohemian Blue, sorry, Bohemian Rhapsody is another collection, and song, a good one. Um, we have Okay, so we have some fat quarter bundles. This fat quarter bundle has 24 plus a panel. No, 18 plus a panel, sorry about that. And look at this collection, it is gorgeous. I don't think we have very many of these bundles left. I love these paisleys. We have two left of these bundles. So grab the panel and then get another one and then make some really cute quilts for friends. Wall hangings, look at these dots. Aren't those cute? I love them. Ooh, and the plaid. This collection is gorgeous. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Who said something? Tammy number two. Tammy number two. What did you say? Mama. Oh, somebody just bought one of the panels in the shop. <laughs> I can tell. Merci pour le cadeau. Merci pour, Merci le, cadeau. pour le cadeau. That's mon, 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 mon cadeau. Mon cadeau is thank you for my gift. Okay, so oh, do we <laughs> did we have a do we need to do another giveaway? Yes. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> okay, you two. <laughs> what you're trying to get fired? <laughs> oh, no, you put the Gemini's next to each other. <laughs> oh I didn't. You put yourselves oh, next to I each other. Okay, do we need to do another drawing? Yes. Did we do a tri yes. trivia question? What was the trivia question? What year? What year? Oh, yes. What year did Rev's Pab staff start? <coughs> 2016, January. January of 2016, the same year that mom retired and then unretired and then retired again when I took over. <gasps> Guess who won? Tammy number two. So. <laughs> Tammy number two, you are the winner. You are the winner. Would you like a puzzle? The box got damaged, so I'm giving it away. But it has a really cute quilt. Very cute quilt. Or one of the little zippy panel bags. Oh, no. Okay. And so let, a, let us know. I know, right? Tammy's like, no way! So what did you, what would you like? Yes. Um, and then you can also have one of the panels. So Tammy, let us know what you would like. Cheryl needs her last name. Huh? Cheryl needs her last name. Cheryl needs her last name? Yeah. Cheryl Stubbs? No. <laughs> no. Oh, Tammy Stubbs. Stubbs. What? Our Cheryl needs Tammy number two's last name. Oh, Tammy Stubbs. With two Bs. Um, Judy says, what is the name of the 48 by 48 Americana quilt kit? It is, this one? Small Town America. Yep. Small Town America. So you can grab that. Okay, so the stash sale is the Bohemian panel. And we have two of those bundles left. 
And let's see, let's do one more trivia question just for kicks and giggles. What does Penny want? Penny, what do you want? You win. <laughs> you totally did. What when do you want? Chicken dinner. She must have had to go. Is she the one that's a nurse? No. Okay. Somebody else is a nurse. Had to go save somebody's life one time. Okay, so we did that one. Who is, does anybody know who the <laughs> shop manager is for Rev Stab Stash? I have mentioned her a few times. And she wants the zippy bag, please. That's funny. What's funny? Because my mom's name is Cheryl. Okay, so who is the shop manager? I've talked about her a few times and about how awesome she is. Oh, Tammy is a nurse. Are you the one that had to leave one time when you... Oh, somebody else. And you've mentioned her name several times today. And I've mentioned her name several times today. Ooh, very good. Oh, very good. Nope, not Cheryl. She's our... No? All right, so who's our shop manager? And we've got one more giveaway, right? Or two. Technically two. Technically so there's two. a choice. Technically two. Okay, so Stash Hill, Bohemian... Blue by Lisa Audit, $6.99 for the panel, $3.99 for shipping. Let's take a look at this really awesome table runner that somebody did. Yes, you guys are good. Mm -hmm. The shop manager did this one. Really cute. Very cute. We have kits for this. Comes with a backing. Good guesses. Good guesses. Yep, you guys are good listeners. Wow. <laughs> Kim says, Tammy. <laughs> Kim, thank you for sending those quilts out, by the way. Um, for those of you that are local, we are doing uh, the quilt show up in Coeur d'Alene, June, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 9th, 10th, 11th? I don't know. The quilt show is on 9th, wait, yep, 9th and 10th. Oh, okay. I think it was Friday. Friday and Saturday. Oh, 10th and 11th. Yes. Don't distract me. <laughs> okay, so the 9th and 10th, or 10th and 11th. 10th, 10th and 11th. 11th. And I will be heading up there on the 9th. And Kim and her friend are sending me a couple of their quilts to show that we, some of the Lori Holt quilts. So it's the Prim one and... Oh, Kim, I forgot which one you were sending. But anyway... And then I, but if anybody has a granny's garden quilt that they would be willing to part with for about a week or a vintage housewife quilt, I would love to be able to hang those up at the quilt show because I have those kits still. Um, and somebody also last week offered the flower market table runner. So if any of you are interested, oh yes, chicken salad. That's right. Thank you, Kim. Um, so any of you are interested in letting me borrow your quilt, I will treat it with the utmost care. It will be wrapped in plastic and it will be riding on the bed <laughs> in my camper <laughs> up to Coeur d'Alene. Then I can um, have a sample there, which would be awesome. It really helps to have samples. But Ma, yes, of course, I'll pay for shipping back and forth um, and insurance and all of that. So. Kim uh, got her sent off today. Thank you so much, Kim. I really appreciate that. And her friends, I really appreciate it. Um, so also, Cheryl, we need to send her a gift card, two gift cards. And I'm thinking like $100 gift card. So send, if you can send Kim Radabo two $100 gift cards, a rep stab stash, two separate ones, and she can use that on her next purchase because I really appreciate her going through the trouble of doing that. Very nice of her. Yes. Oh. Yes, mom's gonna be with me. She's coming. She'll be camping, Kootenai County Fairgrounds with me. And then who else is going? Lana got uninvited. Lana? Lana got uninvited. Lana? Who's yeah. Lana? Oh. You mean Lana? Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't see me. <laughs> But Lana had to get uninvited because it's Tammy number one's birthday. And she's not even gonna be here that Thursday. What are we gonna do without her? Oh. Sammy will be here. Sammy will be here. I think. Yes. Um, okay, so I think we're good. Let's do another drawing. All right, I'm gonna draw 
the last two names. So the answer is, who is the shop manager? Lana, the talented Lana. And when I'm like, Lana, can you go sew today? She's like, okay. Lana, can you go embroider today? Okay. Lana, can you do this? Uh-huh. She's awesome. Everybody's awesome. Okay, so Sandy Bowen, would you like a puzzle or the Bohemian Blue panel? And let us know you're here. Sandy Bowen is one of our winners. And who's the other winner? Nancy Malcolm, Nancy number one. So first we need to hear from Sandy Bowen to see what she would like. Would she like a puzzle or the panel? We are waiting, waiting. And then once we hear from her, then Nancy is gonna tell us what she would like. Well, actually she's not gonna get a choice because she's gonna get the last <laughs> item. Sandy, Sandy Bowen, are you here? You won our drawing, you won our giveaway. Would you like a puzzle? Nancy, are you still here? Nancy Malcolm. Nancy, Nancy. Oh, Sandy wants the panel. Sandy wants the panel, awesome. So, so is Nancy here? Nancy, Nancy number one. Kim says, hope you post a live shot of your booth. You know, I am going to be up there on Thursday. So I was actually thinking, at first I was like, what am I gonna do about the live? Am I gonna change the time? I think what I'm gonna do is do a live up there at the show. So you guys can see the booth and I'll show you all the fun things that I'm selling. And then you can go on the website and buy it if you can't be there, or you can come and see me. Nancy is here. She Nancy is here. Do. All right, Nancy, we are going to send you the puzzle. All right, cool. So you guys would like to see the booth? Sounds good. It's going to be a big booth, 30 by 10. I don't know what time I'm going to get to go in and set up, but hopefully it doesn't take me too long and hopefully I'm not too tired. But, you know, it is what it is. You just lift a lot of fabric and that'll be awesome. Okay, so we'll do the live. So June 9th, right, is the Thursday. So that live will be at the Coeur d'Alene Quilt Show. Um, That'll be cool. That'll be fun. We should have those vintage boardwalk kits. We should have the vintage boardwalk kits by then. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Mom. Thank you for being here. Thanks for playing trivia. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I'm getting stopped. Yeah. Hold on. She's writing. Oh, please. Okay. Then the other trivia question that we had uh, that we did not ask is what year did Christy take over? The answer is 2018. Nancy is a breast cancer survivor, so very fitting. Oh, Nancy. Bless you, God bless you. Okay, thank you everybody for being here. We will see you next week and in two weeks, right? I'll be at the quilt show. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, bye. Have a good night, have a good weekend. See you all next week. Goodbye, my lovelies.